Welcome to Pastor Fred Shop. Thought I'd do something a little bit different today and give a little bit of insight as to who I am and why I even started this channel. Maybe we'll call this the channel trailer because that seems to be a thing. It's been said that the YouTube build video is dead, but I still enjoy watching them. And I'm guessing that I'm not alone. But I have noticed that there are fewer woodworking build videos being posted as what used to be. I enjoy being in the shop, tinkering around, building things. And I thought maybe you'd just like to watch as I make mistakes and try to fix them. Because in my mind, I think that's probably about 70% of woodworking is making mistakes and trying to fix them. While I don't really consider this channel to be a woodworking teaching tool, you might learn something from it, even if it's learning what not to do. And finally, I started the channel because, well, my wife told me to. No, that's the reality of it was, is we were watching some of the channels that I'm subscribed to one evening, and she just looked at me and she said, how come you haven't started a YouTube channel? I guess she thought that I could probably make a video just as good as some of the ones that were out there. and. So one day I stuck my phone on top of a camera stand and pressed record. Here I am. Now I'm still learning how to make a decent video. I just started this. More often than once, I have been halfway through a video and found that the microphone stopped working at some point and I never noticed it. In fact, before I started this video, uh, I forgot to turn it on. Not all of my projects are gonna be big, impressive builds. And that's okay. I know there are makers on YouTube that can just build circles around me, but we all have to start somewhere. Now, if you watch some of the same channels that I do, and I suspect that you might, it can be rather intimidating to watch them as they build these beautiful things. Consider me in that same boat. I just started a couple years ago. Now, there seems to be a phrase circulating among the maker community, and that phrase is tool snob. I can tell you that I am certainly not a tool snob. Most of my tools were either given to me or I bought them at Harbor Freight. Now, while I've not heard this phrase before, um, it's certainly there, and that is wood snob. Uh, while it seems that most makers would like to build something out of walnut or maple or, or some exotic hardwood, I just don't have the money to spend on those types of wood, even if I wanted to. For the most part, I use red oak, which seems to be hated on YouTube. But I use it because I got a great deal on it at the local lumber mill, and it's kiln dried. And finally, you might be thinking, why is the channel called Pastor Fred's Shop and not Pastor Fred's Woodworking? That's a great question, you know, and I'm, I'm, I'm glad that you asked it. Uh, while most of what you're probably going to see are woodworking projects, I was a mechanic before I went into the ministry. And according to my wife, I'm also a bit handy at home repairs. And I think she just says that because she wants me to fix stuff around the house. Now about me. Yes, I am a full-time pastor. I'm currently serving three churches in northwestern Pennsylvania. Yes, Three. You heard that correct. That's a real thing. It happens more often than you think. I love music and I play guitar or play at the guitar. It depends on who you talk to as to whether or not I can play guitar. I am a child of the 70s and the 80s. So that that classic rock era, that's my wheelhouse. That's the music I love, although I listen to all kinds of music. I loved pop culture before it was called pop culture. If you watch any of my videos, you'll, you'll, you're going to be sure to hear maybe a song lyric or a movie quote or something of that nature. You'll often hear me say, don't let greatness stand in the way of good enough. It's something that one of my district superintendents said to me uh, a few years ago, and it just stuck. And, and Bob, if by some chance you're watching, thank you. I remember telling him whenever he said it, I was going to make that my life motto. Now, does that mean that we shouldn't strive for greatness? No, absolutely not. That's not what that means. Uh, but there are definitely times when greatness is not called for and good enough is just fine. 
As a woodworker, most of the time, greatness is not called for. Sometimes good enough is just fine. Would I love to build a, a great piece of heirloom furniture? Absolutely. And at some point, I might. But the things I make currently, they don't need to be great. They just need to be good enough. Like I said, I'm basically just starting out. Uh, there's nothing that should be intimidating about watching me build something. So maybe we can learn this craft together. Thanks for watching. God bless. I'll see you on the next one.